She sells seashells by the seashore. How many of you know that tongue twister? Well, today I'm going to tell you about the lady who inspired it, Mary Anning. Mary lived in England over 200 years ago with her mum and dad, older brother Joseph and her dog Trey. Mary and her family were all fossil hunters who would walk along the cliff's edge where she lived and search for fossils and interesting shells in their spare time. A fossil is the leftover parts of plants or animals that lived long ago and have now become lodged in rocks. The area Mary lived in was known to finding many interesting fossils on the cliff's edges, especially during winter when lots of rain would fall and landslides would occur, revealing fossils. During Mary's life, she discovered three different fossils that helped scientists make important changes in the way they think about the history of Earth. Mary's first discovery was made when she was 12 years old, when her brother Joseph and her discovered a skeleton of a big reptile that once lived in the ocean millions of years ago. This fossil was for an animal called an ichthyosaur. The second big discovery she made was finding a whole skeleton of a plesiosaur, which also used to live in the ocean millions of years ago. When people saw the skeleton of the plesiosaur, they didn't believe it was real because Mary didn't study science in school and she became an outcast in the science community. But this didn't stop her. She kept looking and a few years later she found another fossil. This fossil was for a flying reptile called a pterosaur. As well as finding these important fossils, Mary also found some smaller strange fossils that other people had already found but didn't know what they were. Mary was very curious about these small fossils and decided to investigate them even more. Her investigations led her to find out that it was actually fossilised poo, which is now known as coprolites. For the rest of Mary's life, she continued to read about science and looking for fossils, even though people thought she was strange. So the next time you're at the beach, keep your eyes peeled because you never know what interesting things you might find.